everybody. So today I think third Vlogmas in a row. Today I'm going to show you how I make my guinea pig liners for my guinea pig Mr. Waffles. So I have everything already pre-cut. So what we've got is two, we've got a layer of fleece, we've got red and a grey because working on a Christmas theme. And what we've got here is a moving blanket or a U-hole, U-haul blanket. And this is your absorbent layer. This is going to, after it soaks through the fleece layer, it'll soak into here and it'll kind of lock in and last a couple of days, anywhere from, you know, two to seven days, depending on how many pigs you have and how often you do your laundry. So I'm going to do everything on my little brother machine here. Now last time I made a set of liners, I made it on my 1937 treadle machine because it was real powerful. So we'll see how we go with this one, but I'll bring you in for a closer look and we'll make some guinea pig liners. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put two pins, one here and one about Blunt. about this far apart so that I can sew all the way around and this is just my start and stop guide so I don't sew over this part so I can flip it around the right way. There we go. I'm not super awesome, but I don't think Waffles really cares about this setup. If you want to make a large liner for the bottom of the cage, all you have to do is measure the um, the width and the length, and then add about an extra 10 centimeters or three inches onto that for your seam allowance and to allow for shrinkage because over time, fleece does shrink a bit in the wash. And that is how I make my fleece liners and pee pads. For waffles and now I have this pile here, that pile there and there's a pile there and one over there if you can see that I have to do still. So thank you for watching another vlogmas video and we'll see you another time. Bye!